Hi folks, today I'm making this video to show you how you can make hardware inserts on FL Studio. So this video is for the FL Studio users, the FL gang like they say. Also if you have a DAO that don't have hardware insert support, this video is also for you. So this is a workaround and this has its limitation. Unfortunately you can only process one track at a time. Therefore this workaround is much more suitable when you are producing. So to process your tracks and make them as finished as possible or when you are mastering. You can of course use this when you are mixing but remember that you can only process one track at a time. So while doing this video I also talked about another way of achieving this workaround so we will gonna test this at the end of this video to see together how it works so for this workaround we will need three plugins first we will need a forgotten plugin called wormhole 2 by blessq so unfortunately its development was stopped many years ago and it is 32 bit only but it is free and you can get it easily i will put the links of all the needed plugins so you can get them quickly so the second plugin is the 32 bit standalone version of element by coachview so element is a plugin host a very good alternative to better plugin that have a standalone version so you will need the 32-bit version because with the 64-bit version you can only see your 64-bit plugins and with the 32-bit version you can only see your 32-bit plugins so it is not free but it is really affordable it is only two dollars for a single download you can buy it once for a single download available for seven days or you can do a subscription to support its development it's also two dollars per month and you will be able to download any new release for the third plugin it will be gain match by letty mix so it is a plugin that lets you a b processed and unprocessed tracks it is also really affordable it costs less than twenty dollars so go check it out and get these plugins support these developers because they are creating really great and useful tools at a very affordable price so support them if you can now i'm gonna show you how to set up all of this so first in element you will need to choose your sound card so in the settings go to the sound settings and choose as you and choose your sound card driver so you will be able to display your inputs and outputs and after that you will need two instances of wormhole so so the first instance will be routed to the output of your sound card that you will use for your hardware insert so to send your signal and the second instance will be routed to the input that you use for your hardware return so for the hardware I'm gonna use my ASR10 So I'm gonna use the equalizer effect of the ASR10. And now in FS Studio, you will need also two instances of wormhole. So you will insert them in the track that you will want to process. So here it will be our kick. And for the moment we are we are hearing sound because the effects are bypassed 
otherwise as soon as they are activated the sound will be muted because we will need to configure it a wormhole too so for the first instance of a wormhole in fs studio this instance will send the kick sound to our first instance in element and after we receive the sound from our ASR it will be received by the second instance of wormhole and sent to the second instance of FS Studio. So the instances that send signal have always the start point checked and those that receive signal have always the end point checked so at the end if you don't have sound be sure to verify that you have the the right point checked and we will need only to put a channel name so for our kick we will put kick out press enter and as soon as you put a name it will be available on the menu here and you will choose it as your endpoint now I need to activate a wormhole and we will see that we will have uh, some activity in the ASR10 so the sound is muted because We don't have configured yet the sound coming from the ASR, so we will put kick in. Press enter. So you see that we have activity, so we are receiving the sound from the ASR. So let's see. We don't have the kick in and if you don't have it here simply write it again here so kick in enter and now we have the sound coming from our ASR so it is lower and we will need after to raise a little bit the output and also the sound is delayed so before we had this the kick is in sync but as soon as the sound is processed in the ASR10 now we are out of sync I'm gonna put element on the side and that's where we will need gain match so we will need also two instances of gain match. So the first instance will be the very first plugin of your chain. And the second instance will be the very last plugin of your chain. So we're gonna level match the unprocessed and the processed signal. So before we had this, now this, now they are level matched before, after. Now we will need to compensate for the delay so first when you have a delay of zero report it first to FS Studio so right click on the circle report as delay to host then you click detect delay 
and no we are in sync before after so sometimes the delay detection is not correct and you will need simply to repeat the steps that I have shown you so you right click on the delay so to reset it and have zero then you right click on the circle and check report as latency to host and then recheck it again so to report the delay of zero to FS studio and after that you click it click the circle to detect the delay also sometimes if you have some dropouts like what we are hearing actually you simply need to deselect one instance of a wormhole or the two also and reactivate them and you will be fine also choose your sound card when you are using this method actually since i'm recording with obs i choose the fl studio as your driver that's why i'm getting some dropouts because when i'm using my uh, sound card driver i never have these kind of issues also note that when you are putting your your name your channel name choose also a unique name because if you all put kick in you will receive the streams of other people so choose something unique now i think that's it so normally wormhole can do a multi-channel configuration so you can send and receive multiple channels at the same time i don't know why it is not working in fl studio so anytime i try to process a second track the previous one lost its connection and i need simply to remove the second instances of a wormhole to get my sound back so if you manage to make make it work in a multi-channel configuration let us know and also let us know how this method works for you now i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you the second way for doing this so for that we won't need element but like i said element is a really great tool to have in your arsenal because you will need it at some point now for the second method we will need to use our sound card so you won't hear sound because there won't be sound sent to obs but you will see the activity on the asr10 and also on the instance of wormhole that receive the return of the asr10 so we will do this now So we will remove the instances of element and we will need to simply create an instance on one track in FS Studio. You're gonna choose the track you don't need to route it and also another instance 
in another track in FS Studio. So we're gonna change the color to purple. And also duck them to the right. So This is the instance of wormhole that send the kick. Then this one will receive it. So it will be the end point. And you choose the output of your sound card. For me it is 7 and 8. So we see that the SR is receiving our signal. And for the second instance of wormhole that receives the return from the ASR, we will need to choose the input of the ASR. So we see we have signal also. And this is the second instance that receive the signal coming from the return of the ASR. This need to be kick in start. And we are good. So this is the second way for doing this and it works also great. So if you have some dropouts when doing this workaround, simply deactivate the instances of wormhole and reactivate them. Also use your sound card driver and you will be fine. So I know that this workaround will be useful for many of you that have hardware. So don't hesitate to let us know how this worked for you and see you on the next video. Also check the next video which was my first attempt of doing this video with a piece of hardware that I have sold that same day. So the video was a little bit rushed but it had a comparison between the gear that I used which was a vintage Hi-Fi SAE 180 stereo parametric equalizer being compared to the emulation of Acoustica Audio called Oakry, a very good plugin equalizer. The levels were not level matched, so like I said, the video was a little bit rushed, but you will get an idea on how they sound in comparison. So also Oakry is not an emulation of that particular piece of hardware, it is an emulation of a custom hardware inspired by one equalizer on the family of the hardware that I have sold. So go check it and see you on the next video.